welcome to On The Mic. This is the Mongol Rally Edition with Mike Henrik and Sam. We are taking on the challenge of a lifetime to raise money for the Charlie Teo Foundation. We are driving a one litre car or less from somewhere near London to Mongolia. Sam's done it before. Henrik uh, doesn't know what he's in for. And I'm freaking out. Uh, we have team meetings regularly in these stupid track suits just to sort of make ourselves feel like we're a part of a team to talk about the Mongol Rally. Guys, welcome to the show. Thank you, Michael. How you feeling? Thanks for having us. Thanks yeah, really us. good, really good. What, team meetings like once a week, once a day? It's been once a day recently. Well, we, we talk all the time. So we uh, we're, we're leaving on the 15th of July. We're going to be traveling 15,000 kilometers across the biggest mass of land in the world mm -hmm. in a crappy little car. Uh, this rally is run every year by a team of people called the Adventurists. And they do all sorts of other rallies all over the world. They do this tuk-tuk rally in Thailand and uh, all sorts of crazy stuff. India. India. Rickshaw in India. That'd be fun. Mm. We should do that next. So Sam's done it before. Mm -hmm. Sam, uh, tell us about it. Tell the people at home what we're in for. Uh, I did the rally in 2013 and we started in London. And then we drove um, uh, across the channel, went to uh, Brussels. Which channel? Uh, Dover. It, we didn't. The English Channel. We got on a ferry. Oh, we got yeah, on a English Channel. We, we, got okay, a, we, got okay. a, we got on a ferry and okay. we went across the channel. You know, over the, the, the English Channel, dumbass. Mm -hmm. So you <laughs> into Fran on the ferry. Into France, okay. Belgium, and then for <laughs> Belgium. I'm making sure here. <laughs> like SBS, ABC, you know. Yeah, no. Okay, not, 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 okay no so. Yeah, and then we end up. How do you we, go? we meet in Prague. And in Prague, you meet the Italians, you meet the, the, the Swedes. Uh, everywhere, all around Europe, they all have these start parties and they all just congregate on a hillside in Prague. Mm. And from there, we had a big launch party. Everyone gets really drunk. Uh, a lot of guys hanging out, getting drunk. Mm. And uh, people talking about mechanics, and people sharing food, sharing ideas. And then you basically pick your own course to get to Mongolia. It's, it's such an incredible challenge. Uh, I've never done anything like it in my life. I mean, I hate driving out of Bondi it's a pain in the ass. Bondo bubble. And, and I don't even have a car, I have a scooter. Yeah. So Ubering out of Bondi is a pain in the ass. Um, but there are reasons why we are doing this, which we'll get to shortly. But uh, for those of you that don't know, well, we've been friends for quite some time. Um, just to explain who we are, me, well, you know me, knockabout TV guy, uh, Henrik over here, international fashion photographer extraordinaire, <laughs> He's worked with Heidi Klum from Next Top Model. Was it Germany's Next Top yeah, Model? Yeah, Germany's Next Top Model. What do you have to do with Heidi Klum? Uh, well, she actually wanted to shoot um, an episode in a, two episodes in Australia. Yeah. For yeah, for Germany's Next Top Model. Mm -hmm. And my episode was actually having all the girls in an ice truck, mm. freezing in basically lingerie or, mm. or less. And um, yeah, they got all welts and cuts and like what? frozen and stuck to the ice and they were crying. And you made and girls Heidi, cry on well, Next Top Heidi, Model. Heidi's like, no, just make them cry. Are we taking photos? More. Make them cry. Yeah, yeah, that's what he does. He's a photographer. When they're crying. And, and, and what's, uh, no, 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 they cried in between scenes. So and what's, okay. what's Heidi Klum like? <laughs> she's actually really lovely. Was she with Seal she's, back then? Is this pre Seal or after uh, Seal? It was after Seal. Right. Yeah, no. Seal was banging on about her cheating on him. No, I don't know anything about that. Yeah, he She's did. We, he said that really she good. was she was with the help or something like that. Oh really? Oh, yeah, it's just what Seal said. I don't know from when mm. I worked on The Voice. Oh really? With him all those years ago. Yeah. Um, but you have worked for some of the biggest brands in Australia: Triumph, yeah, Rebel, Triumph, Rebel Sport. Uh, it's not yeah. Rebel Sport. You guys say Rebel. Rebel. Sorry, Luke. it's just Rebel. <laughs> Rebel. I got in trouble for that. Yeah. I mean. um, so if people want to see your stuff, HenrikPhoto.com. Yep, and, Henry uh, with a K, Henrik. <laughs> Sam Crane, one of the biggest dance party events organizers in Australia, raves, dance parties, events, Kudos Bank Arena with uh, Art of Dance, which is, they're like one of the biggest um, rave party yeah, companies big in, in the world. Yeah, they're big Who in the Netherlands, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a company I work with in, in Australia, and uh, before that I was Powerhouse Productions, and we did parties like Utopia, Godspeed, Prophecy, and they're all pretty much in Homebush at the Olympics. So showgrounds, uh, we did a couple at Wonderland, Sydney. So yeah, been doing that for 22 years now. And now, look at us. 
in and these. And we both still haven't been to one of your shows. These silly tracksuits. Yeah. yeah, no, I've, I haven't been. The, no, the okay. next the next event's uh, Su- Supremacy. Well, Supremacy on the 24th of uh, February at Kudos. Any tickets left? Uh, they're selling fast. There is some, some, yeah, some left, yes. Can we give away some? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, make a comment in the comments below saying I want two free tickets to Supremacy and you can have them. So uh, there are other reasons why we decided to enter the Mongol Rally, driving 15,000 kilometers uh, across Europe, Russia to Mongolia. Uh, It's to raise money for the Charlie Teo Foundation. Uh, Charlie Teo is one of the best, arguably one of the best brain surgeons in the world. And he started his new foundation and we wanted to be part of it. My um, auntie Marcella, she works there. I say auntie when she used to babysit me when I was a kid and she's running the place uh, with a whole heap of other amazing women. But uh, Marcella lost her husband, um, Uncle Stan. Stan Zamanik used to be a radio announcer at um, at uh, 2UE, 2GB, a lot of other stations in Sydney many, many years ago. He, uh, she lost him to brain cancer and um, Sam... She's a lovely lady. Sam, you lost your uh, your brother to brain cancer as well. Yes, yes. Yeah, I mean, it, was, it was three. Mm. So it was massive, massive problem. From yeah, the, uh, yeah and, from um, and without going into it too much, I mean, it, it's, uh, it's pretty messed up that it kills more people under 40 than any other cancer and it's killing more kids under 10 than anything else. Mm-hmm. Um, and than it's any one, other disease. Yeah, yeah. and it's, it, it's one of the least funded uh, we also lost a, a friend recently from Bondi, so we don't want to get too somber here, but it's fucked up that nothing's being done about this and it, it needs more money for research. So Charlie and all these other great minds can figure out why in the world that this cancer isn't being stopped and we need to figure out a way to do that. And we might look like three douchebags from Bondi and you know, some people might say we are, but the... Yeah, um, the yeah, we, yeah, okay, thanks. We're, we're trying to. Thanks, thanks, guys. Yeah, I was going to sort of go the other way with that, but now you said it. Um, <laughs> the, the, the reason why we're wearing these crazy outfits is because we'll wear them out and, and people will, will say, why the fuck are you wearing this for, you weirdos? And we can say, we're raising money for brain cancer and it's a reason to talk about it because it's all about it's awareness. It's, it's, like, it's like the, um, the, um, mm. the Breast Cancer Foundation. It's yeah. all about people wearing pink. I just rally, want to rally suits. Rally yeah. suits. I just want to get faster. Shaving your head for a cure. Like we're just wearing these random wacky track suits that we bought online from China because they look ridiculous. Mine to- wasn't online from China. <laughs> Sorry, no, I did not buy one online from China. This is, this is real. I mean, <laughs> but, I'm just feel the texture. Like seriously, how is that worth more money than these ones? I don't know. I prefer this one. Yours, like yours is a little bit more coarse. Yeah. Anyway, it breathes. What it does? It breathes. It, okay. Yeah. Are you wearing anything underneath your tracksuit? Is yeah. it? You have yeah. a shirt. I don't. Yeah. I'm just. Oh, hi. Oh, there you go. What about you? Do you have anything on it? Yeah, I wore shorts. It's pretty hot. Yeah. Um, so anyway, we're wearing these to to raise awareness. We went out the other night to uh, Charles Billich Gallery. He had a uh, a launch there with um, who was the girl that was Crystal married to Hugh Hefner? Hefner? Crystal Hefner. Yes. Did you get to meet Crystal Hefner there? I we were did. wearing she, these stupid tracksuits. Yeah, she was she was lovely. She stayed about what, twenty minutes and left. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Maybe maybe lovely. we scared her off. Yeah, I think we did. I think we did. But we're quite proud of ourselves yeah. because uh, we were in the newspaper right alongside her. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sam, Sam's, Sam's mum said that uh, we were actually bigger than her in the paper. Yeah, we were. I, I just think... got a copy today. Mm-hmm. So it's actually... And we didn't yeah. even have to no, sleep with you, Hefner. pretty cool. No mention of the Mongol Rally, yeah. man. We just look like three douches. douchebags from three Mongolia. Yeah, but eventually, pe- <laughs> guys, eventually people are going to catch on and they're going to, oh, that's the Mongol Rally guys that are raising money for the Charlie Teo Foundation. Yeah. That's right. So we're trying to raise as much money as we can for the Charlie Teo Foundation. And if you want to get involved, uh, we have a page up at the moment uh, on Facebook. Just type in Mongol Rally Men. We're throwing um, all sorts of fundraisers and parties. Uh, one coming up on Monday at uh, the bucket list, but we're going to do many more. And uh, thank you to the incredible people who have donated prizes, which we're going to auction off, like uh, QT Resorts, uh, Event Cinemas. Um, thank you to the Green Guys for donating all that money. We actually got a friend who works for the Green Guys. He hasn't donated money yet, but I just thought I'd throw that in there. Uh, hey, Ben. Thanks, thanks, mate. Thanks, what a good Thanks for the 10 grand, guy. man. Thank we love you. you. Thank you. Thank, thanks, well, Jan- and Danny as well. Thanks, so Danny. Well, Danny, you're amazing. Danny, Danny Finity and Danny, yeah. you can pay in Bitcoin. Yeah, Bitcoin's available. So, um, I mean, we should really talk about how we're going to wrap this car. We need some sponsors. Yeah, so we're going to wrap this car. We're, yeah. we're, we're looking for sponsors. You will yeah. get exposure in, in this way. We're going to put your name all over the car. 
we're going to be promoting you on social media. We're mm-hmm. already lined, we've already lined up interviews on different TV shows, uh, radio networks. We've got about um, 27 stations around Australia that are going to be doing regular crosses to us when we're overseas. Clearly, I'm going to be doing a lot of the talking. Hopefully, yeah, probably, these guys sorry. can get on and do some talking as well. Yeah. Who, who's going to be doing what on this trip? I'm doing the visas at the moment, so... Uh, I did, I, I on the trip or once I've... Took the photos and told you guys to wear this crazy who's, who's, suit. Like, we, we need to figure out some roles here. Like, who, who's got oh. what job? I mean, I'm doing the show. I think I'll that's enough. You guys should just do all the rest. I'll find the car and do the visas. Yeah, and I mean, I'm going to drive. You guys can get the money keep you guys for the charity. With, with my good chat. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> right, back to the yeah. fundraising. Actually, no, I'm the mechanic. Let's be honest. I'll do the itineraries. I'm the mechanic. Get, make sure we go to the good cities. <laughs> nice cities. Basically, I'm just going to let Sam run the show. He's done it before. He's done it before. But we're not, we're not going stuff. the same way that Sam went before. No. no we're like Sam, Sam went through all the stands, to Manis, Manic Stan, yeah, Afghanistan. The stands. And now we're stand. going up to Russia. Yeah. Well, this so, time we're going Ukraine. Yeah. Is this going to be better or worse? Uh, I don't know. I, I heard the roads are pretty terrible in, in Siberia. So, mm. yeah. so I think if we're in the European side of russia that will be well i shouldn't say european side i should say the uh the western side of russia it should be okay the roads but then as soon as we get into siberia apparently the roads go downhill but i don't know i've never been there so i can't comment so so if you sponsor us you will get to go with this along on this journey with us where we'll we'll be thanking you along the way for helping us get there and helping us yeah help the charlie to foundation good absolutely Good, good drives, maybe 600 kilometers a day, maybe? What do you think? 600, how long would it take 600 well, kilometers? Like, Is that like I don't even 10 hours? hours? 600 km, drive 600 kilometers, stop for two or three nights, and then go and really take in that city and then drive another 600 kilometers. So doing a, a little bit of um, you know, tourist reporting along yeah. the way. Yeah. So we're going to go home. any like, you know, Russian clubs in these outfits? And, no, no, like, no. You think we'll be all right? Well, outfits? no, we've got to wear these the whole time. You've got to wear no. them the whole time. Why not? Oh, we could possibly get killed. <laughs> we could, yeah, <laughs> we'll be murdered for wearing these tracksuits. Probably, mate. Well, I don't know. We look pretty, pretty bad. Mm. Bad. I, no, no, we I do, like this up. We we do look kind of <laughs> ridiculous. So I, I'm gonna be confused about this car. Um, we're, I don't know a lot about cars. I don't yeah. even have a car. Uh, we have to do it. One of the rules is we have to do it in a. A car that's one liter or less. One like, liter, yes. What kind of car is that going to be? It's like a one liter Yaris, or which is what we're looking at, because Toyota has uh, pretty good parts uh, in Siberia and heading towards Japan. There's a lot of Basically, Japanese parts. The car will break down. Yeah, like, it will break down. But that's part of it. Like and I was, I was looking it. on the Adventurous website, who run the Mongol Rally, and they say part of it is that your car has to break down along yeah. the way. And then, and then how, how, there's no support crew. Like how, no. do you, how do you fix your car? Well, people are aware, like we broke down in Uzbekistan, we broke down in Kazakhstan, we broke down in Turkmenistan, <laughs> <laughs> we broke down in Iran, we had a I car crash. We had a car crash in Iran. I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, we, we were crossing the border into Russia and we went the wrong road and actually hit a pothole uh, and the engine popped out of the car. Yeah, but wait, you're driving at night time, right? No, no, it was... Daytime, you hit day, a pothole. Just, it was, it was a pothole. It wasn't a... More of a, more of it was like the, the wheels went down and this was like a two potholes and in the middle went There's up. two potholes now. Well, it was just two things that you went down. Sand? Yeah, so the road the road <laughs> went down and then and basically the uh, the lump in the middle knocked the engine out of the... off wow. its mounts. Wow. So and the engine was still running. So Chris and I actually wow. uh, lifted it with our belts and put it back into the so, socket. So. Man, I got a really bad back just putting it out there. So you picked up the engine and put it back in the car. Yeah, it was still and running, but it, it back was, in. It was it was kind of sitting up. Still, we got, uh, you had to push it back in. So we had to lift it up and drop it back into into the engine bay because it was kind of out of the engine. How, how far is this from civilization? We're in the middle of nowhere. We're on the border of uh, Kazakhstan and Russia. Was there swearing involved? Uh, I was, I was driving. Chill. I think Chris was a little bit unhappy with me because I didn't see the pothole. So uh, you, you thought you were fucked, basically. Sam can't drive. I mean. Yeah, but the thing is, we couldn't actually stop. You're the, a maniac driver. No, I'm not. I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. Man, I, I'm not saying if we yeah. ever need to evade any, you it's, know, it's the thing. People, if you, if you, I'll drive. If you're driving for two hours, okay. you, you'll be you'll be physically tired and exhausted because you continuously have to look fifty meters ahead, looking for potholes. You you've got to concentrate on the road. 
it's not like here where we have the luxury of like, oh, we know there's going to be no potholes and we can just, you know, look around and, you know. So does that mean one of us will have to be on pothole duty well, like as a co-driver the whole time? Pothole! Pretty much. Yeah. Pothole! But they come Maybe up when you they come up a little chair on top of they the come car. up when you're pretty quick so you gotta be super glue chair to the top of the car. <laughs> oh, that'd be cool. So <laughs> what are we gonna do to the car? Like I mean, a we're tennis gonna, umpire. We're, we're gonna put sponsor oh, sponsor ads all over it. We're gonna, there was talk of covering an astroturf at one stage. Oh, I wanted to roll it in glitter. Fur. Roll it in glitter. Well, you wouldn't roll it, I guess. You just oh, sprinkle it. Sprinkle. Put some like. You know, super glue down. Sprinkle what super what have people down. done to their cars in the past well, in the Mongol well, Rally? For me, I, I like the idea of looking after the car, um, putting something on the, uh, that we can actually, it will protect the car and the paint that we can remove. Because at the end of the rally, the car is sold and the money for, from the sale goes straight to the charity as well. A glitter car? Priceless. Yeah. Yeah, glitter car, why not? I love glitter car, that's no, cool. Can you I've get the glitter off? Sale. Why get... would you want to get it off? Because at the end when you sell... Okay. Who's going to want to buy it? Yeah. Well, but it's going to have sponsor logo on it glitter. as well. So I mean, no one's going to want to buy a car with sponsor logos well, we, all over our, it anyway. So may as well put glitter on it. Our last car had stickers <laughs> exactly. all over it. We just took the stickers off, no, and then the you gave it a polish, and it looked like a brand new car. We bought it for three thousand pounds and sold it for three thousand pounds. So we actually, then that three thousand pounds went to the charity. That's good for charity. Yeah. Yeah. That's good so for some of the, some of the people in the rally, they had ambulances and they had other cars, but they had destroyed it rain mm. in the trees mm. and the ditches and the cars were, were, so had no value why the hell is it called the mongol rally when they don't go to mongolia anymore well they do, do they go stop to just just they, just off russia don't they or something well, now now mongolia. you have now you have to go north from all of the to get a it's a checkpoint you like i've been there mm. and then you drive 400 no, kilometers north to um back into russia the reason why they did that is because the year when we finished um Basically, this Ulubatar is full of um, a lot of drunken uh, crazies at night, and they we, we all stand out like sore thumbs there. And there was a lot of um, not in these tracks, it's, we wouldn't. Yeah, there was a lot of beatings and really a lot of fights. People got in fights. Oh, so they decided a lot of cars not to were damaged. And it's getting more expensive. Mm. Yeah, and also then the same told me that. Yeah, also they he's been there. Yeah, they wanted the cars not to be left there. They wanted them to send to Russia and mm. to be sent back. So okay, cool. Yeah. So what are, what are going to be the biggest hurdles getting to where we've got to go? The car, making it, putting uh, up with Henrik's bad jokes. I think it's going to be the, the condition. <laughs> Sam's body odor. The roads. The roads are terrible. Yeah. So literally, I think for a whole day, we were actually um, had material around the steering wheel and we're holding the material because the steering wheel was vibrating so much. Well, at least we're not going you, through you the could, stands. I mean, maybe. Yeah. You won't need material. But things were falling off the car because it was vibrating so much. Like you could see bolts falling off the car. What? We had the sump, the sump screw unscrewed itself and oil tipped out of the engine. So we had to, you know, go find a new sump screw. And then we had this, you know, it's just, the roads are terrible. You have no idea. You're going to, and it's, and it's endless. And I think that's why it's called Mongo Rally because the, the, the roads there, I assume are pretty hectic. (sighs) Horrible. Horrible. And, and then, so, you know, we're Horrible. still doing the Mongol rally, mm. but then we cut up into the... the this is the biggest Russia. adventure I've ever been on. I mean, yeah, you, me have, have you ever done like an adventure trip like this before where, you know, you face the elements and you, you know, you got a crap car or like, I mean, the mo- the Not hardest like thing this. I've probably done Not is like gone this. fishing in the Kimberleys. Mm. And that was a bit crazy I mean, out there. We did three days in a canoe. We, oh, we, yeah, we sailed. We, we went down the Murray River in a canoe and, and camped. You did, but yeah. this you, is a little bit different. Are we going to be camping? Kilimanjaro. Oh, Mount Kilimanjaro. Yes, Frank and I did climb Mount Kilimanjaro. Here is a photo of us climbing Mount Kilimanjaro. Um, yeah, so uh, it's, it's, that's pretty full on. Yeah, and the visa crossings suck as well. So that's another thing. What, what's the go with the visa crossings? Because I've heard you got to bribe police officers. Yeah, yeah. tell us about this. Well, it's, it's you know, oh, your visa's not in order, but your visa's in order. It's like, oh, your, your visa looks a little bit. Can you do it in the their wrong accent? color? Believability. <laughs> what do they say? You get to the border, what do they say? and they look at your visa, and what do they say? It looks like a, like a, a lot of. So you, you walk into a room, and there's ten officials, all with their badges and their funny big hats. You know, like. Typical. Where's this? What country? Uh, this is in Turkmenistan, oh. Iran. This is Uzbekistan. All of them, and then you go in there, and one guy's the official car guy. You have to you, you pay this fee. 
and the next guy, uh, it's for luggage, luggage handling. You have to pay a fee. And you basically walk along these very official men and they give you little bits of paper and you pay them all. You gotta pay every dude? Every single dude. How much do you have to pay every dude? Uh, maybe you walk out, maybe Turkmenistan, maybe $150. Each? No, all, all together. Right. All together. So everyone gets and like then when 10 you go outside, each. you go, what do I do with all these little bits of paper? And then the guy just laughs at you and just goes, go. Ha! <laughs> so is, is that just corrupt under the table payments? Absolutely. Well, what yeah. about if the cops pull us over along the way? I heard you got to bribe cops. Well, yeah, we, we, we had a trick. We, did, we decided not to take... We had US dollar. We had a big pile of $1 US dollars, but we... So we That's the secret. It's, $1. That, one dollar bill. So if if someone was chasing us or something, we just thought if we threw them out the window, it would look like we just threw all our money out, and it would look quite dramatic, like a hundred dollar bills all flying everywhere. <laughs> it's kind of smart. But that, yeah, that's just like yeah, um, and they'll go back and grab it. Yeah, they'll yeah. say, oh look, all the hundred dollar bills. Money. Yeah, money. Money. And, but that was one which we never ended up doing that, which is good. But uh, every time we got pulled over, police, which sometimes was every fifteen minutes, mm. we would give them. Wow. Yeah, we'd give them a uh, Italian coffee. Did you or, give him a cup of coffee? No, you give him a little satchel. Sachets. A little sachet of oh. coffee that you get from the hotel. Because they don't get that in Turkmenistan and no. Afghanistan. Or you give him like a little a little mini... What country doesn't have coffee and satchels? I don't know, it's ridiculous. Oh, you know, well, th- things, it, we things we take for granted. Things we take for granted. In, in the middle part of, of the world. desert or in the middle of somewhere and this guy pulls you over. Or you give him a little bottle of whiskey. You mean they don't have a Nescafe shop? No, nothing that. Crazy. Really? Or, no George Clooney Nespresso? No. <laughs> Those <laughs> poor people. Right. Or we gave him... Or um, are they lucky? Cigarettes. Probably lucky. Cigarettes as well. Last one as well. So, uh, why, don't, why don't we get why don't we get little little fluffy you know, clip on koala bears and and, and maybe maybe we stick like They're actually more expensive than cigarettes. You, you, we stick like a photo of the map where we're going and and like maybe yeah. Charlie Teo Foundation on the side and you know photos of like people that we're helping raise money for. Mm. Would that help? Yeah. They're yeah. Not gonna, well, they're we, not they knew care. it was a rally and they they, they, they don't really care. They don't they're understand. But we we had these little badges um, which. Um, a friend of mine, he, he runs a glow stick factory out, out west, Norm. And he had a uh, little, he sponsors, gave a hundred of these badges, a little smiling face. When you turn the, the battery, you can stick it on the back of your, your shirt, starts flashing. And as soon as you show that to him, go, you can give these to your children. Hmm. They immediately turn from money to, oh. Oh, my little child. Yeah, I have six That's children. Good. You know, I have 10 children. Oh, are you going to give them heaps of stuff? Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. And as soon as you give it to them, they're like, okay. like. Does anyone freak out that's on the Mongol rally in those situations and get arrested by the cops and yeah. go to jail? Yeah. What yeah. are we, we doing? We, 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 we crossed from Russia into Mongolia. And we arrived Monday morning at 9 a.m. when the, embassy, when the, the, the gates opened. And when we drove into the compound there was about 20 other Mongol rally cars that had been waiting there since Friday, 5 p.m. because they wouldn't bribe the officials. So basically the officials said, no money, you stay here the whole weekend. So they basically were stuck in between but Russia wait, and Mongolia in a compound. You spoke to them later. Did they actually they refused. ask? Oh, they refused they refused, to pay. They refused to pay. Oh, well, of course they didn't And they, they, they said, no, no, we told us no money and we're not paying. And then uh, on Monday, when, the, when, the, when the boss came back, the boss said, yeah, no money, you can go through. But they had to wait there the entire weekend in really terrible conditions, stuck in a compound. So, so we're going to face stuff like that, I guess. Well, we're just going to pay, right? Is, is, is well, Russia going to be a lot tougher on us than um, the Russia stands? Uh, we're not going through it, uh, Turkmenistan. We, we, we only did a little bit of Russia. Extent. We did basically from Turkmenistan up into Russia, which is to Siberia, and then down into Mongolia. During that period, uh, it was very uneventful. I didn't really see much. So, But that's, uh, I don't know. You never know. You what know, was the most know. amazing thing? Because you're not really selling this to me. I mean, even though I'm committed to doing it, but I'm starting to get less and less excited with all these yeah. uh, horrible stories you're telling. Can you tell me? You, you were talking to Henrik the other day and saying, "There's some, oh, you're going to have a magenta moment when you're yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, going, when, oh, when, wow, when, you're in, when you're in Mongolia, I'm selling you the bad things because this is what you wanted, right? So, but I'm, no, I want to know what I'm in for. Well, I, that's, yeah, that's no, I've got to know because if I don't yeah. know this before I go, I go, Sam, you didn't freaking tell it's, me that. It's pretty simple. A lot of fucking driving. Am I still allowed to say something? Where's the freaking magenta <laughs> moment? Well, the magenta moment is when you're in Mongolia 
Okay, so you drive... What's the magenta moment? Oh, you, you know, you're saying... It's like when you were on holidays in Peru or wherever it was, you know, you had the this ever-loving, moment... ever magenta. I say, okay. I, 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 yeah, I sucked on the ayahuasca and saw a beautiful magenta oh, in the sky. Yes, now I'm with you. Yeah, and, and so <laughs> Sam, taking right the piss, has line. said, you're going to have so many magenta moments when you're on the Mongol rally. So what is, your, what is this right, magenta moment right. you're talking All about? Right, so um, Mongolia, you're driving up what would be like a grass hill and that's apparently the freeway and you go over the top of the grass hill the sun's going down and there's just horses everywhere in, in this field and you just stop on the top of the hill and nobody says you're not allowed to camp there and you, basically it's there's a road in here and there's a road a, a kilometer away and they're all going in the same direction they're all going they're all going east and you just sit on top of that hill get your get your camp kit out and uh, you know, have a drink and watch the sun go down. It's Sounds incredible. Great. And there's nobody there. It's just you and horses running around. And the thing is, they in Mongolia, the horses are it actually me for of meat. Brokeback Mountain. So, yeah. <laughs> so, Hopefully, nothing like that though. The horses, Mongol, all, the horses have their mountain. legs tied together. Actually, so the horses oh, are kind of like their legs are tied together, so they don't it's run away. Worse. What? Because oh, they're, they're oh, what? yeah, they're 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 they're, they're 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 it's like cattle for them, you know. Oh. But so all the horses just come up to you, and they're kind of kind of curious to what you are like you're this strange person on a hill and you know, they all just kind of hang around you go by the campfire and it's incredible you know like we you should take that road so we are camping is what you're saying yeah just, because camping to me is like a three-star motel i don't really well sometimes you can't always make it to those places but well, ideally always glamping so what do we have to take we take sleeping bags yeah we, we take could... we, do we take a couple what like there's one man tents that you buy at bunnings yeah. We take one each, or do we have to share a tent? Like, what, what's the plan here? Yeah, one I man need to tent. know what's going on. One man tent. One man, one tent? man tent. One man tent. So we got all got our own tents. Yeah, yeah. But what if one of us goes missing in the middle of the night? A little, uh, a little. A I little... think I, I think I want to be in a tent with one of you guys, so because they're less likely to. You guys can go together. to kidnap two of us. Share. You guys can share. You want to be in your own tent? Yeah. You you probably spend some quality time by yourself that I don't want to see. So it's probably yeah. Well, actually, I will have my own tent. Yeah, I think we should all have our own tents. That would be intense. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah I mean, we're gonna be in a car together for the whole day. Yeah. Five weeks. And have like and a little sleep together too. Come on. So, Mike. all right. So, um, my wife's what, what, what else do we pack? That's gas, we gotta pack a gas, a gas, yep. a gas cooker. We could, we pack a gas cooker. Just a little portable one, okay. and then we can have coffee, hot water. You know, it would, you know, whatever we want. Didn't one we of can... those blow up last time we went? On... Yeah, when we went camping on the Murray River, it blew, it blew up. up. Is yeah. it when you set the, field, the 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 hill on fire? Yeah, not on purpose. Yeah, it was a yeah. mistake. Okay. It was an accident. Do it on purpose. So. <laughs> we're, okay, we're gonna take a, a gas cooker, sleeping Fred, bag, go, tent. That, you can put that caption in, can't you, as well? Of the, the, the photo, fire. yeah, oh, yeah, the video of Mike fanning it down with a tree branch. Brilliant. <laughs> okay, that was, that's really embarrassing. <laughs> we can put that in. And that. Um, <laughs> mind so, you, mind you, I, I started videoing. That's my first uh, port of call. Hey, uh, so what, how, ma- how many clothes do you take? You pack light? Uh, yeah. I want to take my cameras. I want to film this. We've got to document it. We've got to yeah, show everyone what we're about, doing. Speak about your heavy packing. Yeah, have to take out a car seat. Well, there's three of us, so one of the hopefully in the back, the two back seats can split. We can put one of them down. Yeah, I would say carry on only, like airplane carry on for personal essentials like clothing. I think we should maybe even take the seat out. Oh, and sit on the floor. That'd be maybe comfortable no, 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 on no, that no. bumpy just road. Back, just one of the backs, if they're separate. But the the Yaris, the back, need it. the back section. The about, Yaris. We're about, taking a fucking there's, Yaris. There's well, seats. it might be a smaller Yaris. What? It's not. Yeah. A Yaris. Well, Have you been in the back seat of a fucking Yaris? Yes, it's very small. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So. Is there any other car? Have you been the bigger? Seat, that's... Been the front seat of a Yaris. <laughs> it's, exactly oh, the... it's like driving a little lemon. Yeah. Well, that's what we're in for. That's what we're in for. This is gonna be hell. Okay, so. This is how we propose to raise more money for the Charlie Teo Foundation. The Glove Box Challenge. If you make a donation of more than $20, you can put a challenge into the Glove Box Challenge. This can be something random like you need to go into a bar and ask a guy to give you his underwear, but you're not allowed to tell him why. That would be a challenge that would have to be worth at least how much? 100 100 bucks. Uh, another challenge. So the $20 challenge would be nothing like... Skull a beer in the middle of yeah. the Czech Republic. I'll, I'll and shoot that. it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and also, mm. another way that we could um, get sponsorship is we could get people to send us in um, 
products that they want us to test along the way. Like maybe we could fry an egg on the end. Uh, on a special frying pan. Yeah, exactly. There we okay, go. Okay, cool. So uh, if you want to make the donation at the moment, uh, temporary page, because we are doing one with the Charlie Tia Foundation soon, uh, is... GoFundMe.com forward slash Mongol Rally Men. <laughs> Otherwise, go to Facebook and uh, just, just type in Mongol Rally Men and you can find us and uh, yeah. find the events that are coming up. But if you have any challenges, the glove box challenge is going to be lots of fun. We're going to film those on the road. Like <laughs> maybe one of the challenges someone suggested the other day, find some roadkill and take it to a taxidermist and get it stuffed and strap oh it to the front God. of the car. Like that would be a $1,000 challenge. I oh think you'd have to God. donate to the Charlie T.O. Foundation. Yeah. Um, other random challenges wear a nappy for a day oh my um, god or, or what, make, whatever, whatever you can come up with they make adult nappies I guess I they, yeah. I guess they would there's old people that can't hold it together yeah yeah they're, they're, yeah, they're in, incontinence pads aren't they that's yeah. what they're called yeah well, this is for people older perfect. people it's like an adult nappy perfect yeah so Whatever the challenge, we will put it in the glove box I'll, challenge. But I'll, there's I'll one like, thing we I'll need like to the do. Drinking challenges. To drink, I lo- we love drinking challenges. Because every night there drinking, will be drinking. Not drinking and driving. Sam, but you haven't had a drink all year. I haven't. Yeah, you haven't. What the fuck? It's pretty good. Come on, man. I'm, I'm saving. saving my, I'm saving myself for the Mongol. He's saving himself. But um, so the glove box challenge. This is going to be an integral part of our trip. How do we decide who does the glove box challenge? Rock, do we just take rock, it in paper, turns? Scissors. One way is one, no, just take he, it in turns. He, he, he's probably the other he's, way. He's too good it, at that. The other way is rock paper scissors. Well, How can you be too good at rock paper scissors? On, he is. He's, he's just. He's just. Oh, no, he's, no, he did it in Vietnam. Okay, I'll bet you I win. You ready? You ready? One, two, three. Oh, I see you won. See you won. Hey, what are you talking about? Right, okay, go. so guys. Okay. He's just do it. How am I cheating? How can you cheat at rock paper scissors? You just do. You just do. I don't know how. Okay, so the glove <laughs> with the way. All right, that's it. It's done. The way we decide who does the glove box challenge on the road is paper, rock, scissors. Is it rock, paper, scissors? Rock, paper, scissors. Paper, scissors, rock. Paper, Who's rock? the fuck? Just, everyone knows what it is. But you got to hit paper, scissors, scissors, exactly rock. the same time. No cheating. Well, how do you do it? Do you go one, one two, two, three? three. Yeah. yeah. See, yeah, you did it that's straight it. away, right? Oh, yeah. Paper, scissors, rock. No. Or just one, one two, two, three. Three. And on three, it goes out. How is it? Frankie, Look, how do you do it? Is it one, paper, scissors, two, rock, or three. just one, two, three? I always, I always lose. Okay, let's, let's just practice because we're going to be doing this every day okay. on the road. We'll but you got to actually hit how it. Many, how many challenges will we do a day? you got to hit one? it now. No, I don't know. Like, like, what? Just, what are we hitting? What about if we're okay. on the road? You don't have to hit anything. Okay. Just hit anything. one, two, three. Okay. 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 One, one, two, three. three. I lost. And then that means that mean, that would mean I lost. So I would have to do the challenge. Yes. Would it? Because you both beat me. That would mean I have to do the challenge. Oh. Okay, so let's do it again. Let's 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 just say let's just say this is the underpants challenge where you have to go into a bar in the middle of Russia and talk a guy into giving you his underpants and oh you can't tell him why. Please not do that one. Okay, so this, just for example, this is how we figure <laughs> it out. Okay, it. you ready? <laughs> one, two, three. Okay, so ah. I've I've taken both of you out, so that means that you have to I'll do paper, paper scissors, rock okay. against each other. One, two, three. I mean, Sam is the loser. So getting the undies okay. off a guy in Russia, the first glove box challenge, oh. which is already Will in you there. That's what you're doing. Will we be outside in the car, like so right with the car running? That's decided. All we need that's to the do first is... challenge. No, no. That's All the we... first challenge yeah. that Sam is doing. Let's hear it for Sammy. Oh, See, cheating okay. already. So when when you go into the bar in Russia, <laughs> are you ask you're going to look for a good looking hey. guy or an ugly guy? What? <laughs> Be okay, all right, all right. Glove box, <laughs> glove box challenge doesn't does it doesn't start till we hit the road. But how how many glove box challenges will we do a day? One, one two, or two. two, depending if it, there's a lot of. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of. But if we do three a day, then that means Sam would lose paper scissors rock three times three one day. Times and have day. to do all three things. Oh, he's gonna be so sour. Yeah. Can you okay. imagine? He's well, gonna be so upset. well, if, <laughs> if you're watching this, write too. it on the Facebook page. <laughs> If you made a donation, write it on the Facebook page and we'll, we'll, we'll put it in the glove box for the glove box yep. challenge. And we are deciding with paper, scissors, rock. Mm-hmm. Who does yep. what? But you must donate money if you would like to give us a glove box challenge to do on the road. Yeah. And thank you to my and friend Sammy Power for helping me come up with that idea. I think it's cool. Oh, She's amazing. It's going to be fun. Yeah. That's, that's going to be awesome. <laughs> that is going to be fun. Um, okay, guys. Well, we have a massive challenge ahead of us. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it, we're doing something good here for the planet. Uh, raising money for the Charlie Teo Foundation. Oh, and we should also talk about and um, Charlie Teo and their foundation. And and uh, you were telling me mm. before about how they run their funding. Mm. 
and how it's very much to the source. And I get, I'm really inspired yeah, because, about that. Well, well Charlie, so did, many... he, he was a part of another foundation and um, I, I think he wasn't happy, quite happy with how it was run, to put it lightly. Yes. Um, and so he's just started another foundation, which, um, which is up and running. I think it's only just up, up and running the last couple of days. You might be the first one. Yeah. First one uh, to we help. Could be, we could be the first fun, fundraiser. Um, but thank you to the girls at the, the uh, Charlie Teo Foundation and uh, yeah, thanks, girls. all the people awesome. at, um, at their offices are amazing. Um, just It's up the yeah. road from Waterloo here. We, we get an invite to the party, right? Just above industry. We've got a party. Yeah, when's the party? Yeah, where's our invite? Oh, yeah. I think they're worried we'll show up and wear these silly tracksuits. That's the whole point. Get in the paper again. Mm. Not again. <laughs> Well, guys, uh, I think we should get together and have another chat in uh, in a month or two from now. Uh, Sam, you're about to head overseas, so it might just be Henrik and I and you on FaceTime yep. and figure out where we're at with the fundraising. How much money are we going for? 100,000. 100 bucks. That's a good, good goal. Sam doesn't reckon we can make 100 grand. Man, no, I, think it's, I think it's a I, good... I think, good, uh, a good I think we, if we make five grand, it's, that's fantastic. Hey, it's, you know, made it's, of a charity. Whatever, 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 whatever charity wants and, to do. And we're going to make one thing clear as yeah. well. Um, we are actually paying to get there and, and do this trip ourselves. We're not actually, Absolutely. we're not yeah. pocketing any of the charity money so no. that we can go on a Euro trip. Even the car that uh, we're buying with our own money, yeah. when yeah. we give it, we'll give that. That's, that's, our, that's our donation to the charity, yeah. Yeah. you know? So, yeah. Cool. Yeah. So it doesn't pay for our flights, doesn't pay for our car, mm. and the money goes straight to the Well, it wouldn't cover your first class flights anyway, would it? No, I never, I've never flown first. Oh, you know what? <laughs> that's the only way he flies. That's not true. Yeah, oh, yeah. Got to, got to say this. Like, if you've watched to the end of this video, we're going to give you something right now. That's a special reward. So, um, and we're not sponsored by American Express, but we just come across something that's really fucking amazing. So, if you're a member of American Express Platinum, Platinum, yeah. which has worked out well for us to pay it a has. certain amount every year, yeah. because you know we travel a fair bit, you get more points and. It, all these other benefits and, like entrance to and lounges Sam and stuff. Sam is great at finding these discounts. But yeah, he is. And because he, he, he tra- Sam is Sam's, <laughs> ass, he it is Sam's goal to visit every country <laughs> in the world before he dies. Um, so you also get this priority pass, but you have to apply for it by ringing yeah. up Amex and say, I want one. They send it it's out. It's free. It's and free. And it's free. And you get like, Meals for free in yeah. restaurants in airports. Airports, and you, just and you get the lounge. Car. You get to go have a shower. You can have the whole thing. Yeah. And, and another thing, which because you get free travel insurance. No one knows. I mean, look, obviously, this is this is true. So I, the guy told me upstairs in my house. Yeah. His, his wife. They went to Japan for two weeks, to go skiing. On the second day, she broke her leg, like straight through. Yeah. He had a, a platinum card insurance. I'm mm. like, and he goes, oh, never used it before. Mm. They covered six, I think she said six weeks in hospital. They covered her 60 grand for her, for, for her, for her hospital bill. They gave him a, a JR train pass so he could go back and forwards for, to go see his kids from the snowfield to the hospital. And they also, they also flew the sister over from Sydney to collect so the crazy. kids, to take the kids back to Sydney. Uh. And then paid for his hotel the whole time he was there for $280 a I night. Feel- like so Amex. this is American or, Express, American Express plan, all for free travel insurance. Yeah, so they should they, they should, should sponsor, sponsor us. us. Yeah, well, this is a good ad for American Express, isn't all it? Of us yeah, but I'm saying, but that like, car. how good is that? We've, we've actually got that's pretty cars. amazing that they do that. So we should, yeah. We and wait, didn't they put him up in a five star hotel too? Well, no, he already had it. Don't they just, ex- they, yeah, they had it, and what? He, he just extended it. Yeah. Oh my god, just like, two hundred eighty dollars a night. Oh my god, and he stayed there for I think he was there for five weeks or something like that. So anyway, what, what we're saying that the platinum card, it's it's amazing, it's worth getting, and you get this extra priority pass, which gets you into more lounges and you know, like gets your meals if there's no lounges you can go to meals in the restaurants. And so yeah. we're actually uh, going to go and visit our friend at the airport now, who's landing, and we thought we might as well get some food at the airport while we're there. Boom. Can we do that? Yep. Is that legal? We can do that. Hmm. We can anyway, do that. so we're, we're going to hit up American Express and see if they want to sponsor it. Uh, Mongol Rally Mission, and of course it's 100% tax deductible, and you can pay it straight to the Charlie Teo Foundation. If you like, at the moment, we have a website up. Mongol Rally Men is uh, the Facebook page. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Henrik. Thanks, guys. Here's to an amazing adventure. Hope! 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 One, two, three. Ah. Come on, man.